how to use Delphi for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Delphi as a beginner. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go on to Delphi.com and over here, you're just going to click on start free trial over here. And once you click on that, you're just going to sign up with your first name, email, and password. So all you have to do is enter your first name, enter your email, and enter a password that you would want for your store. And Selfie is a simple little platform that enables you to create your online store. And you can categorize your store however it is. So let's say for our store, this is a clothing and accessory store. And I want to name my store Jane's Fashion and then click on next and then you're just going to answer how you're going to use Selfie. so if you want to embed checkouts on your website or if you want to create an entire storefront so we're going to create an entire storefront and then we're going to add less than 100 and then you're just going to click on start 14 day free trial over here and once you click on that you're going to be onboarded onto their basic dashboard so this is going to be your basic dashboard and on your left you're going to find all of your settings so you're going to find all of your navigation panels like your overview your dashboard analytics products customers orders marketing apps and store settings and then you can just click on view my store over here to view what your store actually looks like so you can see over here that this is what the website is currently looking like and if i just click on customize over here I can begin customizing my actual storefront so you can click on any section and then if you click on any section you're going to get all of the details for that section on the left panel so on your left panel once you get all of those details you can change any of those details so let's say i want there to be a space between jane's fashion so from over here you're just going to select any panel on your preview section and on the left you're going to get all of the tools to edit it so you can see you have your background you have all products you have products per page that you want to display so let's say i want to display three products and then you have your color you have the page layout so let's say i want it to be small and then you have the text color you can change that as well so i can just make this blue and you can obviously change all of your sections over here now once you are done changing all of your sections you can click on view and store or you can just click on publish directly for your website to be edited so let's say i want to change up this section so i'm just going to remove this image and you can upload your own image over here so i'm just going to click on change image over here and i'm going to go into my downloads i'm just going to use this image over here and once this image is being added i'm just waiting for this to load up so now i'm just going to reposition this like so i think this looks good and i think other than that i'm not going to change anything so i'm just going to click on publish over here and this is how easy it is for you to make your store now this store just has a welcome header and it has a explore product section so uh, how do you actually go on about to adding your product so to add your products you're going to have to go back into your basic dashboard so from your dashboard what you're going to do is you're going to go into your product section and then you can see there are different categories of products so to add your product you're just going to select the category of product so you can add a digital product you can add print on demand products you can add a subscription product that renews every time or you can add physical or freebies so most commonly people add physical products so you're just going to click on over here and then you can see over here this is going to be your add new product section you can begin adding your product so let's say it's going to be a black dress and you can add a product description and you can add the price setting so let's say this is 44 dollars, and then you can change the currency as well and you can also add a pay what you want section if you want bidding and then you can add your stock as well so you can change these settings then you're going to add your stock so let's say i have 100 of these in stock and then you can add different variants so you can just click on add variant and you're just going to add your variant so it could be like sizes it could be colors so i'm going to add small and the price is going to be 44 dollars uh, i'm going to add 30 of these in stock and then i'm going to add another variant and it's going to be medium and it's going to be 44 dollars and it's going to be 30 items in stock and then i'm going to add large and then this is also going to be 44 dollars with 30 items in stock so after that i'm just going to remove this default one or you can add like a different version so let's say i could add uh xs and i'm just going to save this 
So like this, you have your basic variants added. Now after that, you're going to add your shipping. So if you want, you can have worldwide, uh, you can have just specific countries, you can have it to the European Union or anything like that. So you can select your shipping categories over here as well. So where you ship your products to, and then you can add the cost and with others. So, so let's say the cost of worldwide shipping is going to be $20 and then you can add your digital files as well. So after that, you're just gonna click on save product over here. And now my product has been added onto my my store so you can see that it's been added so i'm going to go into my actual store and i'm going to refresh my storefront over here and you can see over here as soon as i added that product it has been added to this section over here so i didn't add any image but if you don't add images obviously you're not going to show up but obviously when you're creating your own actual e-commerce store you're going to be adding images for your product so uh, this is how you add like a simple product if you want to add like uh, digital products or subscriptions all you have to do is go into your product section click on add new product and then from over here you can select any other section so let's say you want to create a print on demand section let's say you have hats that you want and then you can choose one of these hats so it's going to give you a few basic options and then you can choose which one you want to display on your storefront now other than these basic features you also have your customer section over here where you can add customers by email so uh, if someone is a frequent buyer and they have purchased with you a lot, you can add them into your add customer section. And what you can do is give them like uh, premium discounts or you can give them loyalty points or something like that. And you can reward them for their shopping. Now, after that, you have your order section and over here you can manage all of your orders you have fulfilled orders and then you have export orders so any export order for any given time will be present over here and then you're going to be able to see all of the information about the product and the buyer and the taxes email addresses all that stuff is going to be over here and then with unfulfilled orders like there's an entire section for unfulfilled orders that will help you better organize your orders that need to be shipped out and this section i find to be especially helpful when you're running a business and your main purpose is customer service so that is one of their order section and below that you have your marketing section and then you have email marketing discounting coupons card abandonment and upselling so these are usually all email marketing features like upselling is when a buyer adds one product you can add like a discount to another one and then they would have to buy two products then there's card abandonment so you can you know send them emails if, if they add stuff to their card but don't actually end up purchasing it you can send them a couple of emails to motivate them to purchase that product and then there are just basic discounts and email marketing now below that you have your app section so from here you can integrate any other application to your e-commerce store that you want so it could be google analytics facebook pixel and twitter ads patreon facebook chat and zapier so if there aren't any applications that you use, you can just click on request over here and request Sellify for a special integration that you want to use. Other than that, these are just the six basic integrations that they will provide. Now, after that, you have your store settings and in your store settings, you're going to find your custom domain. If you want to add one or your basic store URL, then you have your language settings and then you have your down for maintenance mode as well. So if you're customizing your website, so you can enter the down for maintenance mode anytime you want to enter your storefront or you're customizing or adding new product so that is how easy it is to create your simple little e-commerce store using sellify i hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to create your own store as well make sure to leave a like and leave any questions in the comment box down below and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video